Cocomelon diss track is out. Did you watch it? Did you like it? I'm really proud of it. I thought it was really cool. It was a fun product to work on. YouTube removes PewDiePie diss track for violating cyberbullying child safety rules. If you guys don't know, PewDiePie came out with a diss track towards the YouTube channel Cocomelon. Cocomelon is a nursery rhyme channel that has 105 million subscribers. Only 4 million subscribers away from beating PewDiePie in the sub count. What exactly happened here? June 2020, PewDiePie makes the video titled Cocomelon, the new biggest channel on all YouTube. If you look at their channel, it's pretty incredible. Their most popular videos almost 10 of them have over a billion once pewdiepie found out that cocomelon was approaching him in sub count he made the joke that he's gonna start copying cocomelon to gain their views what is it that cocomelon does that makes him so goddamn popular let's go what do we got all right we need a cool intro we need a cool intro side can you do this oh i needed a little mascot too a little tiny tiny side next to me You may have noticed that PewDiePie has been putting Cocomelon style intros in all of his videos. People from the community have been making them, sending to him on Reddit, and he's been putting them at the beginning of his video. If you look at their videos, they're getting millions and millions, actually billions and millions of views every single day. We all know this was all just like a bit of a joke, and it lasted for a long time, for months I would say that he started doing this. Towards the end of the year, PewDiePie decided that he was going to make a diss track against Cocomelon the channel. Obviously, it was all a joke, and one week ago, he announces tomorrow. PewDiePie uploaded his diss track towards Pokemelon last week, and now it looks like it's been taken down. PewDiePie uploaded a video, a diss track, a music video, going after a kid's channel known as Coco Melon. I think this is probably the first time I've ever seen Team YouTube actually tweet and tell you everybody why something got taken down. Team YouTube tweets. The video violates two policies. One, child safety. By looking like it was made for kids but containing inappropriate content. This is interesting because when you upload a video, YouTube specifically asks you, is this content made for kids? You have the option of saying yes, it's made for kids or no. If you check no, then obviously it's not made for kids. But the problem with this is, I feel like YouTube's algorithm thought that the video was made for kids because it's a song about Cocomelon. It's got children playing in the video. And if you look here, under children's music, along with Lava COVID-19, Lava Compilation, you have Coco, right next to a Coco Melon video. Guaranteed there were some complaints. Because why is PewDiePie's diss track with so much swearing in it showing up on children's music? Gather round, little one. Ooh. You can't even show that anymore. The second violated policy. Harassment by inciting harassment at other creators. We allow criticism, but this crossed the line. Specific policy details in the image below. A diss track against a corporation crossed the line. I wonder what crossed the line exactly. According to this, content that targets young minors and families but contains sexual themes, violence, obscene, or other mature themes not suitable for young audiences is not allowed on YouTube. Targets young minors, but is not suitable for all kids. It's great that YouTube is employing child safety on YouTube. I think that's great. But this video wasn't targeted towards minors. But you know what is targeted towards minors? Have you seen these Minecraft animations? We'll just let this play for a second here. This is a Minecraft animation. And is that not just, excuse me? Showering Minecraft character. Here's another one. And I'm going to have to blank this out because it's... A guy killing a creeper with a girl in the bed, but for some reason the girl has hyper-realistic breasts. Can we get it together please YouTube? You're saying that PewDiePie's diss track is targeted towards kids, but a Minecraft animation with sexual themes isn't? Okay, so it also highlights, repeatedly encourages abusive audience behavior. I can't show any of the video, but let me try and put, put a couple still images. Maybe YouTube didn't like the fact that PewDiePie was slicing a doll of Takashi 69 
with a samurai sword. Maybe it was because he sliced this melon in half with an axe. Uh, possibly. This is a pretty graphic image right here. Watermelon all over PewDiePie's face. He shoots this melon as well. I just realized the kid is holding a paper gun. It's not even a fake gun. It's paper. It's just, this is not family friendly. And finally, they says, creates content that harms the YouTube community by persistently inciting hostility between creators for personal financial gain. This might be true because a lot of PewDiePie's fans are going to go onto Cocomelon's channel after this diss track is put up and they're probably just going to give dislikes. Look at Cocomelon's like to dislike ratio. It's pretty bad, but it was already bad last year before they even were put on the map by PewDiePie. He even says it himself. No matter how many views on a video, there's always a ton of dislike. What are babies clicking dislikes on these videos? I'm like, nah, fuck this video. This video fucking sucks. YouTube these days, you gotta be very careful of what you say. You honestly need to be on your P's and Q's. You need to be polite. You need to be semi-family friendly. You can't be inciting violence. You can't go ahead and make fun of people. That's why Leafy got kicked off the platform. So it's good that YouTube is enforcing some sort of rules, but like I agree with maybe one of these three points that they're trying to make here. This is the second thing that YouTube said here, and they said any re-uploads of the original, including full length or partial re-uploads, clips, etc., will be removed too. Still images are okay. I like how naked yoga is allowed on YouTube. This is uncensored, but PewDiePie making a diss track is not okay. Can we just look at the thumbnail for this Minecraft video here? This is fine. Not directed towards kids at all. Let's take a quick look at these harassment and cyberbullying policies because this is great stuff here. Let's go exactly to the exemption section because the exemption section says that if the primary purpose is educational, documentary, scientific, or artistic in nature, we may allow content that includes harassment. So I guess a music video isn't considered artistic. Well, it is if it's the WAP, but not if it's a PewDiePie diss track. Scripted performances, insults made in the context of artistic mediums such as scripted satire, stand-up comedy, such as diss tracks? Wait, what? It just it says right here. It's considered a scripted performance. I, I'm, I don't understand. Are they just trying to make an example out of PewDiePie and telling people to, you know, you know how many diss tracks there are? How many people made diss tracks? Logan Paul made a diss track against KSI, KSI, Logan Paul. Deji made a diss track against Jake Paul. All the side men make diss tracks against each other. Isn't that considered like inciting harassment towards other creators? Now I'm skeptical. Now I think there's, this is a little weird. Remove Coco diss track. Yes, Coco. This meme is kind of true. I feel like this meme is true. There's no other explanation. You know, I saw this as the finale. I saw this as, you know, ending the meme. We've been doing the, the Coco style intros and all that stuff, which has been really fun, but you know, I'm gonna, not gonna continue with it because number one, it would just not be funny. And number two, I don't actually care about Coco Melon. This was supposed to be the end of the beef between Coco Melon and PewDiePie, but I guess that's Looks like now there's gonna be a new beef between PewDiePie and YouTube's terms of service. So he has a strike on his channel, is that right? The removal did not result in a channel strike, but further violations of YouTube's policies may result in a channel strike, according to the company. Okay, that's not too bad, I guess. Yeah, you can't do that. Is that a rocket launcher, PewDiePie? You cannot do that. Inciting violence. I guess we gotta wait and see what happens later on. But as of right now, the video has been taken down. We'll see if it gets put back up. It was gonna end so nicely. The diss track was gonna be the end of the Cocomelon era. And then it got taken down and now everyone's upset. I feel bad for the people that worked hard on this because this guy animated a lot of it. We had the person that made the samurai suit. Maybe it was Takashi69. Maybe Takashi69 is the person who actually got it taken down because he wasn't happy that it got made fun. It makes sense. It's all coming together now. Guys, check out the video that I posted yesterday. A lot of people didn't see it for some reason. I was wondering if it was because I posted it too early in the day or if, if nobody got notifications. But if you haven't seen it, check it out. Link is in the description. Tonight, I'm going to be, not tonight, like today, I would say. I'm going to be on Twitch and playing some Super Mario World. I just want to chill play some video games, so I'll be on Twitch. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below, and I'll be back very soon on Tuesday with a brand new video. Uh-oh.
This kid is holding a paper axe. Mm mm, can't do that. Inciting violence. Guys, this is this is sarcasm. By the way, I'm being sarcastic. I think it's ridiculous that this video got taken down. It's ridiculous. Oh, 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 oh.